Okay, another spline things are here, text and text spline. We have a text spline. You can enter any text with a spline and then using extrude or any generative for uh, generating 3D. Another 3D, another text is 3D text. It's like a 3D, it has its own 3D and lots of tab for doing lots of things in here. We teach you in a separate lessons. In this lesson, I want to teach you and explain uh, the settings of the text spline. In a text spline, in here, in a text spline, you can type any text here. For example, tutorial cells. Enter for uh, changing the raw. And for example, with RT and TC. Click anywhere in the software to insert the text in the scene. And here you can change your font. Click on it if you have lots of font. font. Um, wait for loading that. Okay, this is our logo font. And you can apply it to your font. You can change between bold. If you your font has a bold italic underline. This is align, align to the left, align to the middle, align to the right, align it to the middle. This is a spline and you can use in your generator. You can change the height, which is for making to a font bigger or smaller. This is horizontal spacing. As you, as you see in a Cinema 4D, any dot, these, these are dots that are Beside uh, anything in the Cinema 4D, you can animate it. Pay attention to this, you can animate them. That I will teach you in animation here. In a vertical spacing, as you can see, you can change your raw spacing between this paragraph. And I will teach you curling in the next lesson. And what is separate letters? These are parametric. Uh, this is a parametric spline that you can change its parameter. If you want to access its points into the point mode, you have to make it editable. As you can see, when we make it editable, we have just one spline. But if we tick separate letters and then we editable that, as you can see, we have a lots of points. This is for tutorial set, first row, two, second row, and third. For example, TC, we have a T and C spline in a separate. If you want to open all, hold, hold control and click on it, and you can open all of it. You know, they are in a separate, as you can see, a spline, and you can use it. Okay, control Z to back to the parametric. And waiting for kerning in the next lesson. Uh, oh, sorry. And after that, you can simply go into the extrude and extrude it. Simply click and drag and beautiful. And going back to the text, changing font, changing height, changing any parameter here and animate them. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.